I'm a touch more skeptical on on some of the alternative forms of energy in trucking. Uh, the biofuels, I, I absolutely believe that there's a place there's a place for them. I'm I'm a little bit more skeptical on running trucks in South Africa on hydrogen for the very, very simple reason that right now trucks are being pulled over on the side of the road and a low value item like diesel is being drained for, from the tanks. You're now going to put a bunch of platinum inside a truck worth tens of thousands of dollars and expect that it's not going to be stolen. I think you're a little bit naive. Um, I also think that the hydrogen infrastructure is a little bit more complex than LNG infrastructure. I can safely hand on heart say this without risk of being contradicted by anyone because we just brought a helium plant online and now I know what it takes physically to actually take a substance down to past minus 245 degrees Celsius. Uh, we got the helium down to minus 269 degrees Celsius. It's not trivial. This is not LNG. Keeping hydrogen in liquid form is exceedingly difficult. And if you're not going to put it in liquid form, then you've got to put it into gaseous form and that's 700 bars worth of pressure, which I also don't believe is a particularly good idea. And then even so, you've got you've got massive inefficiencies with it. So I'm I'm not I'm not a buyer of the hydrogen story for for road transport. Um, hydrogen has its place, um, as do all fuels have their place. Um, but EV EV is another one that I just don't believe is going to make it into into the South African context, simply because firstly we don't even have enough power to power homes, let alone let alone power trucks on on electricity. And then the, the sheer size of the batteries that you need in order to meet South African conditions. Yeah, let's let's call a spade a spade. The energy density of a lithium battery is 0.6% of the total megajoules per kilogram compared to diesel. 0.6%. Now, there is a theoretical limit in much the same way that speed of light is a theoretical limit that you can't exceed in velocity. That theoretical limit in chemical storage of energy is 1.6%. So yeah, we can go a long way. We can get from 0.6% up to 1.6% in the next three decades, and that'll be a monumentous achievement. But it is still only 1.6% of the energy density of diesel by weight. That's a lot of lithium. That is a lot of lithium. And so if you're going to power these trucks, on a 14 hour basis like they do in South Africa, doing enormous kilometers, you're going to have to dispense with between 10 to 15 percent of your payload, which South African trucking companies are just not going to be in a position to be able to adopt. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a buyer in the South African context of, of hydrogen and, and EV for trucks. Um, I, I believe that, yeah, what Lars and his team are doing are absolutely spectacular. And I do believe that LNG and, uh, and alternative biofuels are absolutely the answer um, in, terms of, in terms of reducing the overall carbon footprint. I think that we're going to have many, many failures along the way on alternative forms of energy when it comes to trucking.